Good afternoon. My name is Maria Walls, formerly Maria Gonzalez. I am John Gonzalez's much younger little sister. Um, he wanted me to make a quick video for you, uh, for his colleagues in the mortgage and real estate industry about our current situation with COVID-19 in our area. It is May 16th, 2020. Um, I have been a nurse practitioner in internal medicine for 11 years. Previous to that, or prior to that, I was a registered nurse at Barnes Jewish Emergency Department and post anesthesia care unit. Um, I have been seeing COVID patients in my office over telemedicine. I'm working in a virtual COVID command center. This is where that's where I'm at at this time, doing video visits with suspected COVID patients to determine if they are sick enough to go to the emergency department, if they can be managed uh, with self-care and isolation at home, and whether or not they meet testing criteria and need to be tested at one of our mobile sites. And then I'm also working in one of our respiratory clinics, seeing very ill patients and doing the same thing. I'm um, making sure that they don't need to go to the hospital and I am testing for COVID and doing x-ray imaging and blood work um, and also determining if people need to stay at home and self-isolate um, or if they have something other than COVID. So I wanted to kind of bring up testing and um, let you know that the numbers do not show how big our problem here is in our area. We are still in the middle of May um, not testing most people who have COVID. So um, as far as the big systems go, people can only be tested if they have some high risk comorbidity, like they're over 65, COPD, heart problems, diabetes with complications, immunosuppression, um, things like that. Also, um, if we do have suspected COVID patients, like my patients that I see in my respiratory clinic, um, they, some of them have the classic findings on chest x-ray, bilateral lower lobe ground glass opacities, um, and elevated blood tests that all point to COVID as the suspected virus, and their swab comes back negative. So there are a lot of false negatives. There's a lot of lack of testing. So um, the numbers do not give us a true picture of how many people we have in our area, St. Louis, St. Charles, rural area that are, are at home and ill. As far as the classic symptoms of COVID, most people feel a general malaise, lethargy, fatigue, achy for a couple of days. Then they tend to develop a fever, usually just 99 to 100. Um, cough, burning in the chest, shortness of breath, chest pain, back pain, diarrhea, headaches, chills can be very common. Loss of taste and smell has been a very frequent symptom that patients have been reporting. The weird thing about this virus that we haven't really seen with other viruses is the symptoms wax and wane day to day. So people feel really good. Um, they think they're getting better. The next day the fever is back and they can't get out of bed. Uh, then the next day they feel better and it goes back and forth, back and forth day to day, usually for about 10 to 14 days. I would say 99% of the people that have it are doing okay at home. They just feel really ill. They're really sick. Say they said they're the sickest that they've ever been, that have the symptoms. Um, and uh, we're giving self-care measures, Tylenol, rest, fluids, make sure you're eating and telling people, you know, the reason, you know, symptoms to look for to go to the emergency department would be shortness of breath. You can't complete a full sentence without catching your breath, uh, lip, lip discoloration of blue, uh, confusion are all reasons we're telling people to go to the emergency room. I tell you all this because I encourage you guys to continue to socially distance yourself. We do know if uh, people are in less than six feet from each other for more than 30 minutes, they're at much higher risk, much higher risk for getting the virus um, and getting the virus badly. Um, so I want to encourage you as our state starts to open to still socially distance. Please don't be going out in public and being really close to people. There are people that do not have symptoms. There are people that have very mild symptoms. Um, and wear a mask. And if you're able to stay home, please stay home. Thank you and have a good day.